Onsong uses a text-based format that gives you flexibility to make your music work for you. In this tutorial, we will cover what flow is, how you can write your songs, and how to arrange your music to meet the needs of your performance. Flow lets you define each section of the song once. This is important because you can make changes to those sections and have them repeated later without making the changes multiple times. You can then arrange the song differently for each performance, communicate with the band how the song should be played, you can even turn off the flow so you can view the song in its shortened form, but most importantly you can lay out the song from top to bottom for use with auto scroll or for one touch operation when you're doing something such as lyrics projection. First, let's take a look at making sections. Sections are simply parts of your song. Typically, you would divide a song into verses, choruses, or bridges. In addition, you may even want to divide a song into stanzas for lyrics projection. Let's create a song from scratch so we can take a look at how to create sections. To get started, let's open the Songs menu and view the All Songs tab. Tap on the plus button and then choose Add New Song. The song editor will open. Tap on the information icon in the menu bar to open the metadata editor. Type in your song title, artist, and a key. The metadata editor automatically adds information in the metadata section of the song. This is always the first section and is used to provide information about the music. Now make sure there's exactly one blank line after the metadata section without any spaces or tabs. Here we can start typing some lyrics. We can add chords either using bracketed chords in the lyrics or by placing chords above the lyrics and using spaces to align the chords. There, we've just written a section. You can add more sections by adding a blank line in your document. The trouble is that Onsong doesn't know what these sections are. Is it a verse, chorus, bridge? Onsong doesn't know. We need to name our sections. To name a section, type in the name on the first line of the section followed by a single colon. If you add anything but a line break after this colon, it will not be recognized as a section label. That's to handle cases where you need to write lyrics with a colon at the end of the line. Here we've added verse 1, pre-chorus 1, chorus, verse 2, and a bridge. We even added an intro. Now that we've named our sections, let's move on to adding flow. Flow can be set in either the song editor or in the playback menu. Let's start by adding it in the song editor. Here we are going to type flow and then I, V1, PC, C, V2, PC, C, C, B, C, C. Whew! When we tap done, we will see that Onsong has flowed our song in the arrangement we've specified. But how did it know what those abbreviations meant? Onsong automatically generates abbreviations by using the first letters of the word in the name. In our example, intro can be referred to as I, verse 1 can be referred to as V1, chorus as C, and bridge as B. If we type just a V, Onsong will still work, but pick the first section that starts with the letter V. In this case, verse 1. You'll also notice that we could type either P, PC, P1, or PC1 to refer to pre-chorus. Abbreviations make entering a flow very easy. Keep in mind that Onsong is case sensitive when you define flow. If you have sections that would have the same abbreviations, or want more control over how flow is defined, you can also use the long form of expressing flow. In this example, we can also express the flow as the section names separated by commas, like this. Here we have the flow meta tag, intro, verse 1, pre-chorus, chorus, verse 2, pre-chorus 1, chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus, chorus. It's a bit more verbose, but it offers much more flexibility as we'll see in a bit. Since Onsong 1.987, you've had the ability to create page breaks in your document. To do this, you could type four hyphens in a row. However, this can be problematic if you're using Flow, since it could put page breaks where you don't want them. Now, we can simply add page breaks into our Flow, like this. Here, I have Flow, I, V1, PC, C, four hyphens, V2, PC, C, C, four hyphens, B, C, C. This is because Onsong will now just output values in the flow tag that do not match section names. We can use this, for instance, if we want to output a repeat instruction instead of repeating the chorus. If you need to add spaces in your notes, we'll need to use the long form. We could rewrite the example like this.
Once you have defined flow in the song editor, it is saved in your library. This is important to note because removing the flow tag from the metadata section will not remove the flow from your library. You can always turn off flow for the song by going into the playback menu by tapping the headphone icon. Just tap on the flow button until it dims. You can also type in the flow of the song here as well. If you'd like to permanently remove the flow information from the song library, go into the song editor and type a blank flow tag like this. This will remove the flow information from the library. After you tap done, you can remove the tag completely if you like. One reason why OnSong stores the flow information in your library is so that you can change the flow of the same song for different scenarios. For instance, you may choose to sing every verse of Amazing Grace for one event, but want to shorten the song for another. To do this, we will use a feature of OnSong called Separate Set Song Styles. When we create a set, we can choose to separate songs in this set from our master library by choosing to turn this on. By default, this is set to, well, default. This will use the settings found in our settings screen under the utilities menu. Tap on settings, menu settings, songs, and use separate set song styles to change the default behavior. When you create a set, you'll notice you can give it a name and the date is automatically set. At the bottom, we can choose to separate this song from our master library. When this is turned on, your formatting changes such as chord highlighting, transposition, capo, metronome, and flow can all be set to something completely different from the master song. There, now this version of Amazing Grace will be shortened for this event, but the master version of the flow is retained for later. Flow is a simple yet powerful feature that lets you write the individual sections of your song once and then determine how it appears on the screen. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks for watching.